In this video, we'll be taking a look at TF-IDF, or Term Frequency Inverse Data Frequency. So to give you guys a bit of background context, um, natural language processing is a subfield of artificial intelligence that deals with understanding and processing human language. So recent advances in machine learning have prompted companies to start pursuing things like translation, chatbots, and candidate filtering. And what you'll commonly do is you'll use a class like TF-IDF Vectorizer from the sklearn uh, library in order to prepare your data. And so we'll be going through an example in this video. So to start off, I will just run this. Um, we'll be using two simple documents, um, each containing a single sentence. So the first one is, the man went out, on, went out for a walk. And the second one is, the children sat around the fire. So um, by default, most machine learning models can't deal with raw text directly. So in order to um, send it to our model, we have to vectorize our data, which means we are going to uh, basically create a, there's, there's different ways of going about this, but the most common way is using the bag of words approach. And essentially um, what we do is we break our sentences or our text up into individual words. And the reason why we call it a bag of words model is because um, you lose information about the structure of the text. And so at the end of it, I don't know if I can show you guys this. Yeah, so at the end of it, you just end up with a list of words but you lose the ordering and so the semantic meaning of the sentence is lost. Um, so basically I split up the sentences um, using a space as a delimiter and then uh, I casted it into a set in order to grab all the unique words. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a dictionary for our two documents um, and it will show how many times each unique word occurs in the document so for example in our first document the word for occurs once and then again in the first document the word the occurs once and in the second document it occurs twice so another thing that you'll commonly see in natural language processing is filtering your list of words by using uh, stop words. And to give you guys a bit of context, so the most commonly used word in the English language is the. It actually represents 7% of all words that are written or spoken. But the word the doesn't add any a semantic meaning to the text, like it doesn't add any information. Um, for example, things like good and awesome are words that might tell you whether a rating is positive or not, but the word the in itself doesn't really provide any information that we'd find useful. When working with Python, the natural language toolkit provides a suite of functions for doing natural language processing. And one of the things that it provides us is a list of stop words in English. And so these stop words are essentially a list of words that do not provide any uh, meaning to the text, or they don't provide a lot of information. And so you'll typically see these being removed from the text. So a different approach is to use TF-IDF as opposed to the bag of words model. And 
or rather it's it still uses the bag of words um, approach it just scores words based off their relevance I guess and so it's broken up into two parts the first one being term frequency and in essence term frequency is the number of times a word appears in a document divided by the total number of words in the document and so if a word occurs many times in a document well then it will have a higher term frequency score and we can just calculate the TF scores for our first document and our second document and then the second part of TF IDF is the inverse data frequency and essentially it will take the log of the number of documents divided by the number of documents that contain the word W and it's essentially determining the weight of rare words across all the documents and so you you only need to calculate this once for all documents and what's important about it is that the it you take the log of it and the log of one ends up being zero and so as we'll see uh, soon this will have repercussions so TF IDF is just the multiplication of TF and IDF and again if this factor ends up becoming zero then the total value is zero and so I can just create a simple function for that and then if I run that and let's print the data frame so as you can see the word the got a score of zero and so it won't really have a, a large relevance which makes sense right because it doesn't add any information whereas let's say children you know tells us a lot about the sentence as well as fire man and etc and so rather than implementing this ourselves we can use the class provided by sklearn which is tfidf vectorizer and all we need to do is pass it the documents and so we don't have to create the dictionaries like we did in the previous step and uh, yeah so if we run this and then I show you guys what it looks like you can see here that the word the isn't zero and that's because the implementation is slightly different the TF vectorizer in the sklearn library will actually do smoothing um, now as we get more and more documents this will actually decrease but because we have so little it's on par with the other values and uh, it also has other optimizations that I won't get into if you really want to you can look it up yourself and uh, yeah so that's it for this video if you liked it um, be sure to subscribe and thank you for watching